So a common problem that I'm seeing with a lot of trainers that are running football camps at the moment is they have really successful camps where there's anywhere between uh, 10 to 50 players attending at a time or more. But the problem that they have is they don't know how to convert those uh, camp attendees into committed customers. So in this video, I'm going to show you very simple ways to convert your players that attend your camps into longer, longer term committed customers that stay with you anywhere between three to 12 months at a time. What's up coach? So today I want to share with you three very simple ways that you can turn your camp bookings into committed uh, customers. So if you're a, a football trainer that currently runs camps at some point during the year, then this video is going to help you because I'm going to touch on different things that you can do to make your camp experience with the players that you're working with a lot better and also build a more of a rapport with uh, the parents who attend your the parents of the the kids that attend your football camps now a lot of the time okay a lot of coaches what they do is they run camps they're really successful and then at the end of it nothing else happens there's no follow up with parents there's no process to try and sell parents on to any other camp upcoming camp or any other um, type of service or product right it's just right we've we've ran a, a really successful camp and that's it so what i want you to do now is i want you to to flip that mindset into right how can i turn these camps into a way of generating more revenue in the future for my football training business so when i work with coaches with and on their business number one thing we do when they run camps okay they have a process where parents are signing up online throughout uh, for the camp so if there's a parent that is interested then they would go to a landing page sign up and pay online for that camp now, some coaches that I work with, they do show up bookings. So the parent might show up on the day, pay however much it is for the camp, and that's it, right? Now, if you are a, a trainer that currently does that, then what I would recommend is if you do accept that type of booking, then make sure you're getting the parent's information, not just for business purposes but also to protect your business and yourself as well because you need the contact details of the parents that are dropping off their kids right you can't just a parent can't just drop their kid off at your camp leave and then you've got no information about them okay because if something happens you are responsible for that child okay so the first thing is once the parent has registered onto your camp okay what we want to do is we want to have an introductory call with them so the way that the coaches i work with they, they're currently running their their football camps is when customers book up book on for the camp okay, these trainers are calling the parents up or they're getting a member of their staff to call parents up and introduce themselves to the parents okay so you call up mrs jones you ask them thank you well you tell them thank you for registering onto our camp and um, you go through a couple of terms and conditions and you go through a couple of processes that that you're going to be running throughout the week what the camp's going, going to entail and also you see if that parent has any uh, questions for you with regards to uh, the camp so that parent might have questions on what time do they drop off 
prepare? Is lunch provided? Right? The, all, all of these things might be on your website, but you have to remember that a lot of parents don't read through them properly. Some of them just skim through it and then forget. So these intro calls build not only professionalism into your, your, your football training business, but also okay, it, it allows parents to make that connection with your company and to answer any and to have questions answered there and then. Okay, that's the first one. Now the second one is as the camp is in progress. So if it's a Monday to Friday camp that you're running, okay, a lot of coaches don't follow up with their customers throughout the week. Right, a lot of coaches don't provide feedback to parents on how their child is doing throughout the camp. So one way of separating yourself is by either text messaging, emailing, or even calling the parents who are attending your camp for the entire week and talking about how their child is doing during the camp. So it might be Wednesday and that child is going to be with you from Monday to Friday. You might call that parent up on the Wednesday and just, it might be a five minute call to say, right, hey, Mrs. Jones, just want to catch up with you to let you know that Jimmy's doing really well during the camp and we've been really impressed with his this, this and this. And imagine what that does to a parent who is busy all week with work, probably stressed out, has to come home, drop off their child, pick up the child. You know, they've got a lot going on and you're just giving five minutes of your time during the week to call the parent up and just tell them about how their child is doing in that camp. Right, that builds a lot of professionalism. It's something that no coach or no trainer in your area is doing. I can guarantee you because I've spoken and I've worked with a lot of trainers in this industry and most of them, apart from the ones that I work with, don't currently do this. Okay, But calling a parent up during the week in the middle of the camp okay, and uh, speaking to them for five minutes, just tech, giving them an update on how their child is progressing. Now, when I say middle of the camp, that doesn't mean you're coaching a session and you're calling Mrs. Jones up, right? It's we wait till the end of the day, all the kids have gone home, and then in the evening or later in that afternoon, you can maybe text, email, or call the parents that are attending your camp and just give them an update on how their child is progressing. Okay? Now, the third bit is at the end of the camp. Right now, we want to have a process where we follow up with the parent. Okay, so when I work with football trainers and they run camps, something I, I help them to do is help them to run a process where you can offer the parents that have attended your camp. Right, they automatically get a discount off of the next upcoming camp. So if that parent really enjoyed the camp, if the kid loved it and they would like to do it again, you can put something in place where if Mrs. Jones signs up to the next camp okay, in the next week, then you give them a, a massive discount. It could be 50% off or 75% off, whatever it is, off the upcoming camp. That way, okay, they sign up for the camp they're registered, they've got their, their, their spaces booked and they're good to go. And you have now made extra revenue off of someone that has already attended your camp. Now that's one way. Another way is by calling Mrs. Jones up after the camp. Okay, It could be a day or two after the camp, just giving another breakdown on how their child did and talking about your services and that every camper that attended or player that attended your camp during the week gets a percentage off of private training that you offer. So it might be one-on-one -on -one training, it might be group, small group training, uh, it might be an upcoming camp, right? So you give Mrs. Jones the information that if you guys were to register onto any of our services that we offer in the next seven days, we're going to give you a, a massive discount for and a thank you for attending the camp and being a great customer during the week. Okay, that's a little detail that most trainers don't take the time out to do. Okay, but this is a three step process to making your camps unique, to, sh to giving a hundred percent customer service 
to the customers in your camp and also how to sell a service on after that that customer has attended your camp okay if you want to grow your football training business then you can schedule a call with me you visit the description below this video right you can book a one-on-one -on -one call with me where we'll jump on zoom i can ask you some questions about your business at the moment and i can show you a couple of ways that you can grow and scale right so if you haven't yet make sure you subscribe and i'll see you on the next one